Nigerian Catholics Jane and her partner Lucy have a little hope their local parish church will bless their same-sex union anytime soon. And that's despite a landmark Vatican ruling allowing such blessings. In Nigeria, as in many African nations, same-sex relationships are criminalized. Jane believes it could be 20 or 30 years before bishops in her country can accept the Pope's decision. It is also new to them, like it's new to every other person, and they have to process it until they finish the processing. I think, like here in Nigeria, we will have to wait. We will have to be very patient. Conservative Catholics have condemned the Vatican's declaration two weeks ago, which allows blessings for same-sex couples as long as they are not part of the regular church rituals or liturgies. Bishops from several African countries, including Nigeria, said they will not bless same-sex couples. They argue the change can be interpreted as optional. Pope Francis, who approved the declaration, has hit back against criticism and what he called inflexible ideological positions that hinder the church from moving forward. Father Patrick Elumanku is director of communications for the Catholic Archdiocese of Nigeria's capital, Abuja. He says the Vatican declaration was unsettling for many followers, but should be viewed as a move towards inclusiveness. They are also children of God. The judgment, finally, of what a person is depends on God in the very end. I think that's what the Pope said, who am I to judge? Alumanku also denied that this was an incremental step towards eventually accepting same-sex unions in church. The Pope's declaration is still in good faith for us. For Jane, the fact that the issue is being openly discussed is reason enough to consider eventually approaching her priest for a blessing, if her partner agrees. We are getting there, she said. A moment of self-expression and acceptance is coming.